Officials this morning are racing for more U.S. cases of the Zika virus. An infected baby in Hawaii was born with birth defects. Experts think the mom got the virus in Brazil early in her pregnancy. That's where thousands of brain injuries and newborns could be the result of the Zika virus. The CDC issued a travel advisory for Brazil and 13 other countries and territories, including Puerto Rico. Our Dr. Tara Narula is with us. Tara, good morning. Good morning. This is very, very serious. Mm -hmm. And if you're pregnant, and I know you're pregnant, women should take this seriously and not travel to these areas because what may happen? Absolutely. So to put it in perspective, the Zika virus originally was discovered in the 1940s and has rapidly spread throughout Latin and Central America in the last year or two. In the United States, between 2007 and 14, we had about 14 cases. Between 2015 and 16, another 12 cases. The officials from the health departments, they suspect that we will see more imported cases, meaning people getting sick outside the country and bringing it in, but also more locally transmitted cases. In fact, in Puerto Rico last month, there was uh, the first case of someone who got bitten by a mosquito in Puerto Rico and developed uh, the disease. So, you know, it's important, though, to understand that while uh, it has spread very rapidly in Latin America, conditions here are a little bit different. And so we have better sanitation, housing, air conditioning, screens. And so likely the outbreaks here will be more small and focal, more along the lines of what we saw with dengue and chikungunya virus. Uh, as opposed to a very widespread outbreak. Do you realize you have it? So for one out of five who get the virus, they develop symptoms, only one out of five. And the symptoms are fever, joint pain, conjunctivitis or pink eye, uh, mm -hmm. and also can include headache and back pain. Uh, so for many people, the symptoms are very mild. Uh, they're usually not life-threatening or severe. They occur about two to seven days after the bite, and they last only for several days to one week. So but many they, people could clearly miss that they had this. But the effects for a fetus are terrible. Right. Well, that's really where this big warning is. So for pregnant women, clearly the recommendation is to post any travel. Why? Because Brazil, where this virus has spread very quickly, has seen a rise in the cases of something called microcephaly. The, it, annually, normally, they have about 150 cases per year. Since October, they've seen about 3,530 wow. cases. Microcephaly is a birth defect where the head size of the infant is smaller than expected. And usually it, it is because there's an underlying brain development abnormality, either in utero or after birth. And it can be anything on a spectrum from very mild, where it's just a small head size, to severe, where the infant can have seizures, they don't develop intellectually normally or meet their milestones, have vision or hearing problems, and there's no treatment or cure for microcephaly. Mm -hmm. Very, so, very frightening. Stuff. Yeah, so definitely heed the, the warning. CDC warning if possible. And you stay in the city of New York, right? I will. Not, not going anywhere. <laughs> 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 a couple of months, huh? Sleep yeah, with a mosquito. Upper West Side. <laughs>